Hey, hi there, Guardians. It's Mana. So, a lot of you guys recently have been asking what I tend to use, like what perks I have on my sniper and so on and so forth. So, I decided to make a video on it. What I'm about to show you is my main sweaty loadout. You'll see me using this more often when I'm streaming Trials of Osiris or if I just decide I kind of want to be that guy. And you'll see different variants of it depending on, you know, how hard the, the opponents are. This right here, everything you see here, except for, you know, my, my class armor, is usually what I use um, when I want to go try hard. You'll see I got the last word, my now new favorite sniper rifle, Her Benevolence, and I usually tend to go with Radagast Fury. Armor set out is covered of the exile. Now see, the only reason why I use this is because the perk increases increased grenade throw distance. That's what I look for, either that or this. Increased reload speed with special weapons and increases melee attack speed. Now those those uh, perks are what I uh, usually look for in my first two slots, my helmet and my uh, gauntlet. For my chest piece, I usually run with the best of the exile. The only reason why I roll with this is because of the perk, carry more ammo for sniper rifle. Since I mainly use snipers, this is really good for me. Now, I could be smart about it and use this thing right here, Watcher's Vest, because it gives me more ammo for sniper rifle and hand cannon, and also I switch out the, the strength for discipline. Also, Radiant Dance Machines. Now, I just can't get away from these. It's either Radiant Dance Machines or Bones of Ao. I have to go with either or. This one, I just love. I don't like the strength, but I really love it because you move more quickly while aiming your weapon. So that's really good you know, for the sidesteps, juking your opponents out. Now, I know what you're wondering. I could probably use another exotic armor piece that'll actually help me out more, but I just don't really care. <laughs> I'm way too stubborn to try anything else because I'm way too in love with my, with the boots. The boots are just too good, too fun, and I, I always stick with them. Now, back over to the weapons, you probably know what the last word is. It's a nuisance, it kills way too quickly, OP is shit, and I use it only if I'm trying hard. If I'm super struggling, I'll switch over to good old Thorn, you know, because this is also an overpowered piece of shit. <laughs> like, it's super easy, and I hate using it. I absolutely loathe using it, it's terribly annoying, and I just really want to permanently delete it out of the system. <laughs> Here's another variant that I really like to use. If I'm feeling really confident, in my accuracy, I'll switch over to the Mita Multi-Tool. It's vastly overlooked. Just because of the time to kill, it takes longer than the hand cannons, but it is so good. Look at the perks. I roll with Smart Drift Control because usually it helps with stability. Comes with Third Eye, which is amazing. It is so good. Lightweight when held this weapon grants, plus two character agility. Coupled with a full agility build, plus my uh, boots, this thing, you feel like you're just flying. Whenever you, you when you whenever you move, and finally the Mita Multi Tool perk. This weapon boosts move speed and fires on a hair trigger. I don't really care about the fires on a hair trigger. I don't I don't know what really that means. I guess that means you can just shoot really quickly. But uh, this weapon boost move speed is amazing. Like I said, that coupled with lightweight and my boots and full agility build is just amazing. You can juke people out so well, so so well. And overall, this weapon I want to say fully leveled up on a Trials of Osiris game is a four-shot headshot. So that's really good if you can get your headshot. It does like 50-something per headshot, I want to say, and 30-something body shot. So yeah, it's not as powerful as hand cannons because, you know, they're completely broken. It feels like you're working for that kill, and you deserve that kill while using the Mita Multi-Tool. I would really suggest using this weapon if you want to try out something new. It's super fun, super fun. This right here is called Herb Benevolence. You can get it in any, I want to say, any Prison of Elder uh, levels. As long as you have a key. It's randomly dropped, so you're going to have to, you know, pray to R and Jesus for this bad boy. So here are my perks. First one I want to tell you is the, the sight. I like running with short gaze nowadays. If you can re-roll a sniper to get short gaze, I would definitely take that over anything else. Now the reason why I choose short gaze over anything else is because it increases range. And while it increases range, it also increases aim assist. That's something you want to look out for. This one has hidden hand. Honestly, it's meh. I don't notice it or I don't like it. I don't care. It, nothing feels different. If you can roll something else on a sniper, I would say get something else other than hidden hand because it, I, I want to say this is a waste of roll. I have a certain addiction to snapshot now just because it's so noticeable. It's super, It's actually pretty damn noticeable if you don't have a sniper with snapshot. 
And this, coupled with my reaction time, I want to say it uh, does me really good. And the final perk is performance bonus. Kills with this weapon have the chance to grant bonus reserve aim. Radagast Fury. Now this thing is so overpowered. For perks, you definitely want to go for grenades and horseshoes. Right now, grenades and horseshoes for heavy it just rolls. If you don't have grenades and horseshoes, you're going to be at a severe disadvantage. So you definitely want grenades and horseshoes in this current meta. Now for the middle tree, you probably want Field Scout or something to boost Velocity. Since I already have these in Velocity, I went for a Field Scout and the ever so dirty Clown Cartridge. Now this thing is nasty on a rocket launcher. Almost every time I pick up a brick of heavy, this will at least give me one or two more bonus rockets. So when you reload, like say you shoot a rocket, you reload, then you have three in a magazine. Three in a magazine, like that one rocket will turn into two and it's kind of ridiculous. Like, this happens quite often, and it's dirty. This really needs nerf, but I would I would highly suggest <laughs> rolling uh, with Clown Cartridge and Grenades and Horseshoes. For the first three, I just, whatever. Whatever gives you more Blast Radius and Velocity. Really. And of course, I run with Blade Dancer because it's the most OP class in the game. I mean, let's face it. I usually set up a full agility setup. I fell in love with a full agility setup just because, you know, I like I like being able to get in and get out really quickly. And with the boots and the Mita, it just all comes together too, too perfectly. So of course, the first perk is Arc Bolt Grenade. Now let's face it, these things are pretty powerful. They, they will hunt you down and they will hit you and anyone behind you. So <laughs> so these, these are really good AoE uh, grenades. Now for a second there, I just had better control on. That's what I roll with if I had Bones of Eo on. But um... Normally, I blink on. Because, why blink? Because that's also overpowered. <laughs> it's pretty OP. You can blink out rockets. You can blink out grenades. You can get around places quicker. You can blink behind someone, turn around and backstab them. Razor's Edge, I normally don't use this. When I do use it, I usually mess it up and I die. Here's something that's broken as well. Backstab, hitting an enemy from behind with blink strike causes significantly more damage. What this means is, you hit a guy in the back with your melee fully up, and you want to kill him. What makes it awesome is this can proc while you're hitting him from the front. Like it's it's so broken. <laughs> so this is this is the best one out of all of them, I would say. Quick draw. Now here's the thing. This with blink is what makes Blade Dancer worth it in my eyes. Weapons ready immediately. So you can literally blink, whip out whatever gun you're using, and immediately shoot. And the dirty hungering blade. Like, man, I'm going through this. You know, subclass, I'm just thinking, everything is dirty. Everything is so overpowered, it's kind of ridiculous. But anyways, Hungering Blade. Kills with Arc Blade and Blink Strike immediately regenerate health. So, what does that mean? You get one kill, full health. So there you have it. Also, you might notice my intellect, discipline, strength. I don't normally pay attention to that at all. Like, I'm pretty bad when it comes to that. Like, I'm actually really bad when it comes to that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't really care. As long as I got those few perks on my armor pieces, I, I could care less what these are. Even though this would probably benefit me more if I had, like, more discipline and more intellect and, like, zero strength or something. But eh, whatever. There you go. My classes, my setup, my sniper rifle, my main, you know, weapons. I don't know what else to call them. So, <laughs> so I hope that answers a lot of questions. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was educational or something. <laughs> you guys stay awesome. Peace out.